Hello everyone, so uh, let's not lose sight of what we're trying to achieve, we're trying to make a handheld games console. That's that then. <laughs> Oops. Let's see if we can get this out without causing any more damage. Okay, here I am with the famous Mark Lamar from Shooting Stars. Bring down the dove from above. We need to practice the yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There we go, there we go. Ready? Right, here, here, here I am with the famous Mark Lamar. Can you, can you imagine from Shooting Stars? Bring down the dove from above. <laughs> right, I broke this thing last night. Um, good news. A little bit of wig glue has repaired everything. And uh, so the, the problem that we face at the minute, right here, you can see there's a ridge. We need to remove this ridge and make sure everything's smooth and flat. So, <laughs> guess what time it is? It's router time. Okay, a little trick I learned then, um, whilst we were making the robot lawnmower, and that is to rotate, if you want a perfectly round cut, or relatively perfectly round cut, rotate your workpiece uh, as the cutting blade is uh, doing its business. So here we've got a drill with a bullet shell in it, and here we've got a Dremel. Awesome, bear with us. Ah, awesome! So uh, yeah, we've got to do that about another um, a few more times. That's quite a bit of brass there, quite a bit of brass, looking good too. Hello and welcome to some Gorilla Glue, yes, I've taken an old Chinese takeaway lid, cut it up with a pair of scissors and uh, used these bullet inserts, these shell housings, um, moistened them appropriately and uh, I've stuck them to the top of this uh, lid. So. Yeah, we'll see how this works out for us, but uh, hopefully that'll stop the, uh, the shell housings from falling out of the enclosure. Right, so Gorilla Glue, bleh, Gorilla Glue didn't really work out for us because as you can see, it just pops off. Even though this surface is quite clearly keyed, it's just uh, not doing the job. So I think cyanoacrylate or super glue, something like that would do the job. All right. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> right now, so what we've done then, we've gone with Copy Dex, which is a rubber based glue and uh, gives it a bit of springiness and seems to have held to the plastic quite securely. Uh, as you can see, happy days. So, um, what we've got to do is cut them all out and then we can pop them in and then they push buttons. And uh, if you look at the other side, there we go. Right, cool. All right, so uh, we've made some pretty good progress. What we've got then is we have this guy here ugh, with all the bullet buttons uh, in it. And uh, we've chopped up the little conductive pads here. And those will sit on top of there and there. We have this PCB, which is the controller PCB that you saw from the little handset. Um, we're gonna chop that up. I've marked a couple of blue lines up on this bad boy. 
and uh, those bits of PCB with their associated gratings will sit on top of those and then hopefully we'll have a controller that works. We've got a couple of little speakers that we need to fit in here with a, an audio amplifier as well. Then over here we have an iPad battery which fits nicely inside the uh, bottom shell and uh, in order to charge that iPad battery we've got a tiny little PCB here uh, which will effectively become the battery management system for this guy. Then we have a uh, 2 amp 5 volt um, boost converter here which will effectively drive the Raspberry Pi and its associated screen. So there's still quite a lot of work to do but we've really made some good progress. Uh, let's see how we do.